This is a Gathering Heritage Project interview recorded in County Louth in Ireland. Now, I'm delighted to welcome to the Gathering Heritage Project, Connor Hughes. Now, we're not going to talk about Connor and all his charities that he does today. We're going to talk about his dad, and everyone knows him, of course, and you, of course, Danny. And I suppose, Connor, you look back now at your dad's life, and he lived life to the full, didn't he? Yeah, he had an extraordinary life. Um, and... He, he had a great way of looking at life and I, I think that's what got him through even rough times he he never there's a few characteristics about my father uh, he never saw the bad in people he wasn't naive but he never saw the bad he'd look for the good he also he loved work because work brought him in contact with people and he very much enjoyed people so he had hard times uh, getting reared and so on working early and uh, he not nostalgically looks at back on that as good times. He actually knew there were good times because he. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about him. Uh, wh- where did he live? Where was he born? And yeah. uh, a little bit about him. He was born in Armagh, and uh, they had a fruit shop, a quite forward-thinking fruit shop at the time. Uh, then they fell on bad times, and they moved to a meat. That was kind of the lowest ebb of the family. Um, that's where he then came to the fore because at 14 he had to leave school to start rearing the family and that's where his initiative came uh, he would start buying and selling vegetables and hawking around Dundalk in particular that's where lots of people would remember them at the square or door to door and at that time it was only the one thing he was doing was was the vegetables at the very start yeah. uh, yes it was the vegetables then when he started gathering his business ability his horse and cart in the summer would be an ice cream cart no I'm sorry a vegetable cart in the morning transformed to an ice cream cart in the afternoon and in the evening then he played in the band so he had these and three was this all in Dundalk? this was all local yeah yeah and um, like lots of people come in and remember him fondly for one of them criteria, you know yeah. either the, the the vegetables or the 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 ice cream because they, they'd tell me about maybe uh, I'm trying to think of somebody yeah he used to shout ice cream a condenser the milk it because he always thought being slightly Italian would help business and um, <laughs> I guess it's kind of it's not an urban myth but there was a time when he when he was cutting the ice cream um, he he hadn't got his knife and he bought a knife and it was a two sided knife which he didn't realise and he cut his hand and he said just as I was about to pack up with blood everywhere one woman shouted to everybody this man's got um, strawberry in his ice cream and he says I sold a lot I hadn't an inch of blood in my body I was white pale but I was delighted with my sales yeah. oh dear God so these are all listen to the full interview on www.gatheringheritage.com mm-hmm.